Justin Cooler from Love Your Nuts is joining me in studio now. We are going to be chatting to all of you men out there and telling you why you must love your nuts. Hello. Hello. How nice. are you? Oh, good. Thanks. Good. Nice to have you here. Thanks for the opportunity. To good. Now, why don't you tell us about Love Your Nuts? Okay. Um, I had testicle cancer mm -hmm. 19 years ago when I was 30 years old. And um, being a teacher during that time, um, didn't know anything that testicle cancer is a young man's cancer. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of reading and find out about these things and it really changed my life. I resigned as a teacher because I got depressed, mm -hmm. scared, cancer comes back. And I traveled and backpacked for two years. And when I came back to Namibia, started teaching again every year in school. Mm -hmm in the biology classes one lesson was on love your nuts so i always say to the kids Let, let's talk balls and boobs because mm -hmm. it was girls and mm -hmm. boys in the same class and in 2006 a former student of mine invited me for coffee um, just to say thank you that i've mentioned it in class because of that he knew and he went to a doctor in time he said to me you actually saved my life at 16 wow. because it's a young man's cancer between 15 and 38 most common during that time mm -hmm. And I've written the book originally in, in German, mm -hmm. and the, trans, the English version of the book is called Love Your Nuts. And okay. I thought I'd use that title because men do a lot of jokes below, this, below the belt, but if it gets serious, they don't talk. And that's why I thought yeah. that topic is, um, or that title, would, it's catchy and I um, yeah, can play around with mm -hmm. that easily and people start talking about that. So I've written the book in German, it was translated into English, Love Your Nuts, and two months ago I started a foundation, a project mm -hmm. in South Africa that's called Love Your Nuts, um, Testicle Cancer Education in a Nutshell, because I like to educate and make young men aware yeah. about this cancer.